Hello everyone, Veronica from Free Talk Foreign Languages Studio here with you yet again. Hey there, Filichko and all the subscribers of his channel. This is a video for you. Actually made after a request, which is always really pleasant to get. So one person asked us to make a video on the difference between using some prepositions. In particular, two prepositions. Preposition to and preposition for. When do we use each of them? What's the basic difference? It's true that a lot of people confuse them because they're kind of similar. But don't fret. I think personally it's all very easy. So, let's start with the preposition to. One of the very basic meanings is direction. So, whenever there is some sort of movement in some direction, you use preposition to. Yeah, so for instance, pass that to me. There is an actual movement. Let's go to Paris. Again, the same sort of idea. All right? The second very frequent usage of to is when we mean in order to, yeah? So, you have to get up to make breakfast. So, why do you have to get up? In order to make breakfast, yeah? Please don't do that just to please our parents, yeah? So, don't do that in order to, because you want to please the parents. And very, very often, if you've got a verb, it would be with to, not for, yeah? So, I need, uh, I don't know, to go to work out, not I need to go for work out. You can say for working out, and this is where we move on to the usage of for. For is used with um, nouns or perhaps the ing form of the verb, whenever we talk about a purpose, yeah? So, thank you for doing that favor, yeah? Or, um, I need to buy that book for improving my vocabulary. So, once you've got a purpose, also an important usage of this preposition for is for the benefit of usually somebody yeah so please uh, I don't know buy that for your yeah so to make you smile or don't do that for me do it for yourself okay so a couple of examples uh, which can hopefully show you the difference so the first example of a sentence can be Please give this book to him for her. Meaning that you actually do the movement, you give the book to some person, but the purpose is for him to give that book to another girl. Yeah? So give the book to Marcus for Valerie. All right? Or let's have another one. Um, I'll speak to her for you. So I'll do the action the direction of speaking, yeah, to her, to some person, but why? I'll do it for you, for the benefit of you, for the purpose of getting something for you. So, I'll speak to my mom for you. Okay, hope that was clear enough. Definitely try to make uh, loads of your own examples. Uh, try to, you know, Pay attention whenever you see the usage of two and four in a book, in somebody else's speech, and I'm pretty sure that with lots and lots of practice you'll nail it. Thank you guys for watching, please keep commenting, tell us what you want us to make, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye!